Now, you asked how you can help. We want federal legislation granting Negroes the right to vote unencumbered. And we want federal protocol eliminating the decades-long dismissal and illegal denial of blacks seeking to vote. And we want robust enforcement of that protocol. Well, um, <clears throat> that's fine, but most of the South is still not desegregate. Let's not start another battle when we haven't even won the first. And you know what the next battle should be? The eradication of poverty. I'm calling it the war on poverty. It's a matter of political priorities. Poverty is going to be my focus at home, and I want you to help, help me with this. Uh, we can make big changes in these things for people of all colors, and I know that matters to you, doesn't it? This voting thing is just going to have to wait. <clears throat> it, it, it can't wait, Mr. President. Well, why not? Because there have been thousands of racially motivated murders in the South, including those four girls. Well, I know that. And but... you know the astounding fact that not one of these criminals who murder us when and why they want has ever been convicted. Yeah, I know we have a lot of work to do down there. Not one conviction because they are protected by white officials chosen by an all-white electorate. And on the rare occasions that they face trial, they are freed by all-white juries. All-white because you can't serve on a jury unless you are registered to vote. Well, Dr. Kane, you've certainly given me something to think about, but this administration is going to set this aside for a while. Just for a while, you understand. 